Now, the Napleton Sports Desk with Sports Director Scott Lepper. It was two weeks ago this evening when members of the Rockford East football team learned that they had lost one of their teammates. Mason Hayda died in an auto accident after leaving practice. The Rabs have pushed on playing both of their games since then, always keeping Hayda in their thoughts. Set. Playing a physically demanding sport like football is challenging enough in the best of circumstances. Playing it and practicing it with heavy hearts is almost unimaginable. But the ERABs have managed to press on. It's a testament to our kids. We, we, we got some tough kids. It wasn't nothing easy. Like, as it sounds, it was actually really hard for most of us who was really close to Mason on the team. But we, uh, we stayed on top of it because we know Mason wouldn't want us to be down, playing sad. Hayda's funeral was this past Monday. Most of the players and coaches attended. Tuesday, they were back at practice. Was it helpful to the guys maybe to, to, for, to recover and to process what had happened, to, to, to go to the funeral and be a part of that? Yeah, it, it really helped. It really helped because we got to talk to the family and we got to see him in his final moments. Coach Griffin has been through this type of sorrow too many times in his coaching career in Rockford and in Milwaukee. This is the seventh kid that I've lost since I've been a head coach. So uh, it's, it's been, and they've all been different different situations, you know, but this is the first one that, that's really happened during the season. You know, you're talking to the kid one minute and cracking jokes with him, and, and then he's in heaven 15 minutes later. I mean, it's just one of those things that you, you, you can't be prepared for. A memorial that was made under one of the practice field goalposts the night Hayda died is still there, and it'll remain there. Absolutely ain't going anywhere. That's important because every day we come out here and see what we're working for. The e -Rabs want to make Hayda proud of them. That's what pushes them. That's what pushed them on opening night, barely more than 24 hours after Hayda passed, when they battled at Belvedere North before losing by only two points. And last week, they won big at Belvedere. Football is somewhat therapeutic for the e -Rabs. It's helped our kids, I think, uh, help get over it and help move forward. Mason worked hard out here, so we're just working hard out here in honor of him. We're going to play our hearts out the whole season with everything because that's what Mason would have wanted. And the E-Rabs will play their hearts out tomorrow night when they host Auburn. David Greenberg and I will have your week three highlights tomorrow night on overtime. That's at 11 o'clock here on Fox 39.